I can't believe I was gonna skip this anime. I was wrong. It's lit. You guys enjoyed it too. It's doing better than Oshinoko, by the way. Oshino mid. I'm kidding. Um, the whole premise is like, you know, one girl that has the persona of multiple girls by acting, and that is the pseudo harem. This dude is one of the luckiest characters in rom com, but then again, the more I think about it, a lot of the male characters are probably even more undeserving. Anyway, so let's just enjoy the fun humor. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> Okay. Onisama! Yeah, here, here, here comes here, here comes the Onisama act. That's so degenerate. That is beyond degenerate, bro. Like, damn, that's crazy. She actually shows him his sister. He's like, damn, you nice to have a little sister too. And she acts as a little sister. Yeah. yeah, why is she in elementary? But come on now. <laughs> I'm a hypocrite. A little sister? No. Big sister? Yeah. So it's never about the incest. Big sister? Yeah. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. For a long time. On her hand. What the fuck was that, bro? He just, he just, he just did an impression too. I'm so scared. It's okay for sleep with you tonight, Onichi. But come on, bro. Manipulative, manipulative fucking senpai, bro. Abusing the kohai and his power dynamic. Uh uh. For a long time, it's hard. Wow! Our sister's grown up so fast. What? What? It's an act! Why, why, why? She might just start crying for the hug then, huh? Bully her! A fucking kid, you're trying to fucking make laugh like a baby? Okay. <laughs> I mean, it works. It works. <laughs> Amateur humor is the best humor. Theater time. Yo. Not only does Giji Harum does better in Oshinoku in terms of viewership, even the theater play is better, bro. Wow, this theater is compelling. Oh my god, the acting, man. Hey, focus! Sixty third culture festival. Already a culture festival, huh? Well, she is the Kohai. Oh. Oh. I wonder what the fucking workers are thinking. It's like, yo, this girl, like, is she bipolar? What the fuck? She got so many different personalities right now. Tsundere chan wa lemon ga suki datta ke? Minna no bun kao to shite masen. Yes. Minna ni kito daro. Hitotsu dake de juubun desu kara. Sore dake de ii no? Namae ni tsunage nai de kudasai. That was a pun. I didn't get it. Jorin chan wa nani aji ga ii? Rin. Custard. She folded at Rin chan there. Ore mo plane ga ichiban suki da. Sick already? Senpai kaze desu ka? Ah. Okay, it's bedtime manners time. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I'll be in my bed, and you're gonna make the porridge, and you're gonna feed me the porridge. I <laughs> don't I guess you gotta be so damn bad. So damn bad to be like, you know what? That's pretty much something like we're like we're like we're like married, bro. We're gonna I'm gonna get your germs, you're gonna get me sick, and I'm gonna get you sick. It's like, oh, it's so intimate. <laughs> Yo, go home. Alright. It's not like I want to walk with you or anything. Oh. The sick riz, bro. The sick mode is not folding over anything, and now he's just making her feel more self conscious. It's working. Cat ears. Never mind. Mask. <laughs> this dude is like dying on the fucking right and she's like, this is the best day of my life. Wow, I was sick. I was always sick. <laughs> Bro is dying. Wow. Is she still here? Wow, she came over. Wow. Made dinner. Wow. God damn, it looks good. Cool, I made it, no man. <laughs> a different personality would make different cooking. It's like, I made it dumb. Uh, I don't know. Maybe that'd be kind of funny. Like, Sundari chan only likes this kind of food. You know? Cool chan like this kind of food. So, yeah, I don't remember Schizo. Now we're blaming the other fucking fucking made up personalities in our head, bro. This is the level of fucking delusion we're at right now. It wasn't me! It was Ipchan! It was not me! It was an Echichan. Hopefully she doesn't get sick. I never understood the idea of like when someone gets sick. Like, someone else will come over and take care of you. But it's like, you're contagious. You're gonna get the other person sick too. Will you not? That's why I was like, no, just stay the fuck away. I'm gonna stay home and I'll fucking handle it myself. But like, in these shows, it's always like a couple or someone else like helping. It's like, are you not gonna get them sick? Anyway. Oh, that's it! I think you. Confession. Oh. Episode title is called Confession. He'll confess and I'll be like, Psych, it was just acting. Ha 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 ha. I'm just practicing my lines. Tsundere-chan. <laughs> Not Rin-chan. <laughs> she gushed. She gushed. <laughs> Make it better. Make the confession better. Okay, okay. Wow. The starry sky, amazing. <gasps> More beautiful than the stars. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so cool. <laughs> cool, there, eh? <laughs> This is all stupid, bro. Don't worry about it. Her type is just him. She just really likes him, man. Wait, wait, wait. She gets it, right? She kind of gets it, right? And like the reason why she likes him is like... She can just like be, be her around him, right? It's just all, it's all about like, I have all these different personality masks I can put on. It's fun and you're the only one I can kind of do it with. So it's just like a way of being myself and you accept me for who I am. And now we're bonding. <laughs> that heart there, I think she gets it. <laughs> yeah, we went from culture festival arc to fucking winter all already. We're going to get New Year's. Dude, what the? Time is just... Jesus. <laughs> That's a lot of gifts. <laughs> is every gift here for each different girl, bro? Remember how we got different snacks for different girl types too? 
<laughs> I think it is. No. She just wants to be around you, man. Oh, we share an umbrellas. No, share, share. You're gonna be an umbrella on Christmas? So lewd. This lucky motherfucker. This is lucky motherfucker, bro. It's usually the girl with all the fucking stuff that you're carrying, and the guy's holding the fucking umbrella. Bro's getting the princess treatment. This is, this is lucky motherfucker. What's <laughs> more umbrellas, bro. Underwear? Just you and me. Wow. Is romance happening? That's a part of Rin that I haven't seen. <laughs> that's the picture you chose? Honestly, it's a good picture. It's funny. It's just like, that's her crush. She just has this on her phone. I miss you. <sighs> yeah. I... Yeah, for sure, for sure. Hello? <laughs> please, more whispering ASMR. Please quietly whisper. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, wow. <laughs> Holy shit. They were con like. I, I guess they planned that other shit for future episodes, but like, we got culture festival in one episode, we got the Christmas, now we're getting like New Year's Shrine, like, these usually are our each individual episodes in Slice of Life rom-com shows. Oh. Fancy. Yo, Cliver, hold her hands, bro, make her hands warm. Rub them. I used it all. <laughs> you fucking used it. Yeah, now I'm gonna, you can use my hands. Now my hands got the warming, so now you can warm your hands with my hand. Go ahead. My pleasure. He's gonna nap. That's how good the hand holding is. Bow, bow, clap, clap, bow. It's not. Again, it's a harem, right? Remember, it's a Giji harem. Wherever we go. Bitch, you better be fucking buying that much food then when we go on dates at restaurants. You better be buying like 10 separate fucking meals for each fucking persona then. Yeah, This is not free, is it? Ooh, cliche trip. So. What, what happened? Portion time. Bad luck? It says uh, future good luck on his one. Meaning like... Isn't that good? Bad luck? Wait, what do you mean? You got a bad luck! I'd say that's good luck. Her tripping and landing on him. Anything to advance the romance. That's good luck. What's the meaning of there? What is the meaning of her being so happy about this, despite being bad luck? Because the trip got her closer to him, right? Is that the implication, or am I missing something here that I'm not understanding? Damn. Don't worry about it. We're both stupid. Let's just fail. 
Love signs, sign cos tangents, triangles. No, he meets a fuyashta kotta na. No, he meets yori omoi de fuyashai. Yes. So, ano niji ukiu te wa wasurete nai kara na. Yeah, I for I did forget about that. Oh shit, yeah, the her score test scores. Both of them are actually dumb dumbs. That's right. They did this test scores was so fucking bad last episode. Ma, doshi de koko ni? Kodo. Can't she just like pop off the like the elite sign or something? Like elite fucking. I don't know, Ojo sama persona. It's like, yes, I am smart one. Just us, huh? Just the two of us. Ooh. Let's go. Just the two of us. Okay, let's both fail. Quite the library. Oh, you know what he should do? He should have intensely stared out the window with like a bad view, right? And let me cook. And he'd be like, oh, Nanakura, come over here. The view's so nice. Look. And she's gonna come over here and be like, huh? All I see is parking lots and traffic. And then I would say, na na na. Look a bit closer. And then she's gonna be like, what? And then she sees the reflection of herself in the window. And then I say, You're the view. <laughs> the more I watch these dumbass slices like wrong cut shit, the better I can come up with these cringy ass, fucking corny ass one liners, bro. <laughs> my, my favorite still is from Viral Hit. My favorite one is Viral Hit, where the dude comes back home with an empty bouquet, remember? No flower, just a fucking bouquet bottom. And he's like, oh, where's the flower? And he's like, the flower is you. <laughs> it's just too good. Uh. What the f- Was that Gaijin son? What the fuck was that? What? Why did you say broken Japanese there? Is that Gaijin son? Like what? What the fuck? Mimi no hoga kawaii yo. Kawaii yo. Oh, oh, oh. I don't speak Japanese, but I know. Even I know that's wrong. Ah, do you know? Yaki ga kawaii ite nani? Do you koto? Eh, 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 Sure, the building kind of. Demo. Oh. Alright, he lined it up. <laughs> I thought you knew. I thought you kind of knew back then. All right, we're both gonna be fucking both just just dense as fuck. Huh? All right, fine. Jesus, grippers. She can't hold back no more. Just do it. I don't know. I I feel like an actual confession scene. Again, I I talked about like I remember last episode I was talking about how. It doesn't need to get this deep, but what if, like, he only likes a specific one, and the more that, like, she puts on these different masks that's not really her, you know, it, the, the relationship will fall apart. So during the confession scene, I feel like she doesn't need a mask on. She just needs to be herself at that moment, at, at least for the genuine confession. After that, you can just do whatever the fuck you want. Senpai. He is Senpai. down bad. Extremely <laughs> down bad for you. <laughs> Call him. Will that happen in season one? Season three. Never. Last chapter of the manga. The episode title is called Confession. Oh. She just wants to hang out with you. Ooh. Wait. 
Ay, ay, ay. That, that's a Gigi confession, bro. That is a Gigi confession. Because she says Kidas, but, but it's not him being the main cause. It's us being around you, I like. Hold. <laughs> Gigi confession? Wait for it. Don't back down. Don't back down. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Just be you. Headbutt. <laughs> 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 oh? Whoa, we living together now? No, it, it looks like it's like a you know it's like a drawing back right there in the club right now. I'm your husband. You took her last name? I mean, go for it, I guess, but he's a Nanakura, bro. He, he took her last name. That's why. And that is the end of today's episode of Tsuro Harem. And there's a lot of fun parts, but the more I think about it, the more cringe it is. But it's still so peak, man. It's actually very fun to watch this and all the different sides that she has. I just want, like, more different personas to add into the roster of, like, fucking... I don't know, psychopath chan, yandere chan, you know? Like, like milf chan. I don't know, stuff like that, right? Like, I want more to be added into the edition, but maybe we'll get more. It's actually crazy how many different events that we just passed through this episode. Because usually, slice of life rom com episodes, right? They'll have like an episode entirely dedicated towards New Year's, entire for Christmas, entire for culture festival, but we speed ran that shit, meaning they're confident with the amount of material they have left over. Seemingly, this is only episode two, so, all right, bet we'll be anticipating with a lot of I don't know expectation for the next episodes and that's it for me if you're still here if you didn't do this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care